In today's video I'm going to talk about SketchUp for iPad, one of the latest updates from our favorite software. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer and I see you next. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In today's video, it's all dedicated to SketchUp for iPad, the latest update from Trimble. And all the developments are good news. Um, and this application is an amazing uh, achievement. As you can see here, I'll put the link in the description if you didn't check it out yet. They have quite a lot of uh, videos uh, showing, doing demonstrations of the software. And you have all your tools, all your SketchUp favorite tools uh, in in the application okay so you can actually do transformation it's not just uh, the um, about measuring and reviewing and viewing it in plan views or other views it's not just for showing your ideas you can actually do changes i'm not very good in doing uh, like this detailed changes in my ipad um, I'm a PC kind of person and I'll do things the mainly changes to my model I will do them on my actual computer but this is an amazing amazing app and you actually have even um, you can upload uh, components from the 3d warehouse in this application so it's really really quite complete um, as you we're gonna go just through some basic things um, but uh, this is I'm always looking to this application because I'm using it for garden design. So maybe if you it's more useful if you're actually just modeling uh, smaller pieces, if you like sculptures or wood or things like this, I, this might be a very good application for you. For me to be really specific with measurements, um, I still not very uh, my workflow it doesn't work so well in here but you have quite a lot of options you have quite a lot of things you can do and basically all the main tools from SketchUp you can do it now on an iPad and it doesn't it doesn't need to be an iPad Pro just an iPad okay um, one of my favorite things is actually not only the 3D warehouse, but the HR viewing, I think is going to be really, really fun to explore that. The like components uh, part of it as well. So imagine that you, you're showing to your client and it's a live component. You can show doors opening, sliding, things like this, um, and changing shapes and scale um, at photo texture. I think the HR viewing, it can be quite a, a lot of fun if you're on site and showing your idea and you can just visualize it with the client there so this is things to explore this is fairly new i didn't use so much because i always use my sketchup uh, i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to show you here um hopefully you're seeing some of this um but let me just check maybe you can see something so basically what i do normally um i use my my sketchup application just to do the um, the two view uh, the plan view of the site and when i'm on site just do a quick measurement just to make sure that the measurements are correctly um i do the planting plan like this as well so i have my planting plan um, uploaded into sketchup normally i work with one drive so and from one i pass it here to sketchup um but yeah this is the way i do it i because i do all my 3 and rendering and stuff in Lumion. So in here, I have only the basic structure and I do have to just work with the two uh, D plants. So as you can see here, you have here your, your, all your basic uh, tools. I'm not sure if you're seeing something or not. I'll check it out after. But you have here all your basic uh, SketchUp tool and in here you can edit this toolbar to change things that you use the most, okay? And you have HR viewing here. This is gonna be a lot of fun trying that out um, if you work with SketchUp. But you have the measurements. You can basically you do everything that you normally do in SketchUp. You can do it in here. Identity, phone materials, uh, scenes, text, styles, etc., etc. And in here, on top, you have your 3D warehouse. So basically, you can upload components directly to your model here in your iPad. So, and this is the way it looks, the dashboard, but I'm going to show you on the website better, okay? Um, this is not working now, so right now, that's it. So basically, I have some models here uploaded uh, that I use in when I'm on site with the client to check out um, the plants, etc., etc. So I just wanted to show you here fairly quickly. 
So I just wanted to show you quickly the plans and pricing. So basically, if you already have the subscription for SketchUp Pro or SketchUp Go, uh, of course, in SketchUp Studio, this application is free. OK, so this is a really, really good update and it does is not going to cost you more if you already have um, this subscription. Uh, this is one of the advantages of the subscription methods that they are using in a lot of plugins and apps um, and software um, that, you know, they keep updating and you're always going to have the latest version and the latest um, technology innovations. So I think, you know, it's a really good um, a good update and if you want to to and i really encourage you if you sketchup user to really go and invest a little bit of time uh, res um, just checking the application out one another thing uh, if using sketchup for textures and materials not like me i'm using lumion for example so not so useful for me but if you hear like you see here in the video and it's really cool thing that you on site maybe with a client and you can quickly change textures okay maybe you have a, a file with a with a few selection of materials or maybe like the video is showing you go to the 3d warehouse and check other materials and you can quickly change them here uh, in the application now so let me know what you think uh, and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye